Welcome back to Houses Built Tiny and another really cool project. Well, as the 15K DIY build is coming to its conclusion, we're hurrying up to build some of the uh, final aspects of it. Today, we're taking some wood that was perhaps 100-year-old bull pine, standing dead beetle kill, and it was milled down about 75 years ago by hand by uh, an old farmer off of his property who turned it into a milking barn. And <clears throat> it's going to have all kinds of uh, graining and burrow wood and uh, beetle tears. You're going to love it. It's highly densely resinous. Here's what it's going to look like finished. Now you'll take these steps or this ladder and hang it on the wall and it'll go 90 degree angle like this and you'll be able to use it the majority of the time as wall shelves. So we toss it through the planer. It's just coming out gorgeous. Imagine the challenge we had in everything we did in this house had to have two or more functions. So we didn't want this to just be a ladder. And usually you'll see all kinds of cool ladders in tiny house builds, but you won't see them to where they have a scissor jack configuration where the steps have two possible positions. And you'll only use this ladder whenever it is whenever the bed is in the bunk bed position, like when you have company over. Most of the time it's just going to hang on the wall and we don't want it to just become wall art. We want it to become something functional. So check out how we build this dual function set of steps and shelves. Okay, so we got the steps made. We got the scissor jack made. We're making the saddles. We got half of these saddles on. They're just a combination of some plywood that's been got some OG edges on it. Yes. Never put your finger too close to your trim nailer. Anyway, so we're gluing these guys together. We've got all the holes pre-drilled like you see down here. And uh, now we're just rounding these guys off, giving them a little bit of shape. <clears throat> so you can see how it turns out real nice with the rounded edge whenever it's at the right angle. How we got the right angle was we just centered, we used a spacer to make sure that each of these holes are centered in the right spot away from the edge. So we had the same depth right here, distance here as we did here. Okay. Um, and we put one in and then the other and then we gave it a twist so now we're gonna take this top off we've got these saddles down here so we're gonna put those saddles up in here just to make it strong then we're using these five inch screws as our hinges line the hole up in the middle of the board that's where it was before and then use our straight edge to pull it out and it should be right there. Yep. Do each one of them dry before you put a screw in it. In case there's any warp in the board. Yep. You can feel it gliding right into the other one. Right in the middle of the board. Flush right and centered in that step and flush with the edge. Oops, moved it. Okay, now. I'm going to take some of this uh, paste wax and I'm just going to rub a little bit of that paste wax right here and right here and then we'll finish it all out with the wax. Maybe a little bit of wipe on poly. If you don't know about wipe on poly, you're missing out. Talk about making uh, easy work out of natural wood. 
Okay. Gonna put it on a little heavy. Let it rub into the other piece. Let's gonna soak into the wood. In the old days they used to wax all the floors with this old wax on, on Johnson paste wax. Now I am gonna go ahead and clean it off my hands because I don't want fingerprints all over the wood. And it will leave fingerprints. Okay, see if we can line up. Should glide right in there. That's it, and I'm not going to make it too tight. It doesn't need to be tight. I love this old burrow wood. Beetles chewed that pine all up years and years and years ago. Same principle applies to straightening up your board. Cool multi purpose ladder. This ladder is held on with a French cleat. And why I say it's cool, well, let me show you. You're only going to use a bed in an up position probably when you have guests so that you can pull out your sofa mattress. Just take this guy off, set it right here, and it goes at the right angle to create a set of stairs that's very secure. Against there. And you can see I'm six foot tall. I'm standing up and my head's barely touching the ceiling. You got a pretty safe way to go up and down. And when you're ready, you just put it back. 